What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I got myself a new keyboard. Let's open it up. This is just how I got the box. I have not opened it up to do anything yet. Right there, there's the keyboard. 60% and Pro 2 keyboard. Very nice. So here's everything that comes in the box. Got our keyboard. Got a few keycaps the keyboard comes with right here. Nice colors. Got the cord. Got the keycap puller to remove the keys. Let's see about this cable. A pretty long way from my PC to where this keyboard's gonna go. This cable needs to be a good, good length. Okay, yeah, that'll definitely work. That's a good, hmm, five, probably at least a five foot cable. Well, probably a little bit more. Right. Now, let's open up the main keyboard. Let's see here. Oh, right, there we go. Okay, there's your keyboard and a piece of paper, probably a user manual. That was probably like to help you download the software to be able to change it. Yeah, and the Bluetooth, all that. Okay, so the keyboard to reveal. <laughs> Boom. Also got the cherry, not the cherry, the Gateron blue switches because I love the click. Let's see what they sound like. Hopefully they're nice and clicky. Oh my goodness. Yeah, buddy. Listen to that. Oh yeah, that's a nice keyboard, guys. Listen to that. Bluetooth as well. Let's plug it in, see what else. Right now, I'm just putting on the keycaps it came with, and here's the sound without the keycap on it. I love that sound so much, guys. I'll see you whenever I got all these keycaps on. But I also have more keycaps coming in the mail. They're coming in about a week. I'm also going to put those on, but you guys will probably see that either at the end of this video or in another video. Got them all on, guys. Everybody say bye to the Logitech G413. All right, guys. Are you ready for the RGB test? Plugging in in three, two, one. It's plugged in. All right. I think it's like setting up a device. Good, good. All right. I'll let that set up real quick. Set up complete, maybe. There we go. Ready to go. Okay. Maybe it's like function F7, F8, T, anything. Hello? Hello, anything? Function, anything? Fun second function? Anything? Anything? It's connected. Oh, I wonder. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Let me figure this out. I think I know. Alrighty then, guys. It took me a little bit longer than I thought just because this was my first RGB keyboard. I didn't know how to turn it on. It took me a while to figure it out. I'll just show you guys all of the light modes because there are different modes. And even some modes are accessible through the keyboard itself. No, I, not even just the software. Software is easy to download. Haven't used it yet. But so you do function, and then the key number nine, which is the F nine. So function F nine. That's the second, the sec second function key, not that. Okay. So here I'll just show you all the modes. Just turned it off. Okay. Starting from the beginning.
This looks so good, guys. And it, I know it looks like it's flickering from the camera, but trust me, it's not flickering. It's just the camera it is not flickering in real life. I have now we're talking, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. This this is a bright keyboard. This keyboard is amazing. I already love it. And with the Gateron Blue switches. I was between this keyboard and the Ducky. The only reason I didn't get the Ducky is because I couldn't fully customize the RGB if I wanted to. This one, you, there's a software Ducky. It's all just like this. Ooh, so it's like... I click a key, it lights up for a short period of time. Okay. Next. What is that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh! I like this. This one's cool. I'm gaming, WASD. Oh, and it's, it's different colors every time. That's crazy. That is cool. Okay, so this one just cycles between colors. I like it, like it. Next. It's stationary. Now they slowly go by. Okay. Solid red. Yeah, this one's solid red. Solid yellow. Solid green. Solid blue. That's solid dark blue. Solid pinky, pinky purple. Oh, I like this one. You got a red, yellow, green, blue, purple. I like this color. Next. Oh, this is the breathing effect. This one's cool. Goes up, goes down, and it comes up a different color. I like it. Alright, so this one, it looks like it's flickering bad on the camera, this one. It's just cycling between colors. It is not flickering in real life at all. It's not flicker, flickering at all. It's just the frames of the camera. Keep that in mind. Okay, this is the same that we just saw, or some, or close to the same. Just like slowly goes over, like the rainbow. Next mode. Okay, click a button, lights up. Different color every time. Very nice, very nice. This one again. Okay, I believe we started over. Yeah, if this one, yeah, okay. There we go. So that is all the light modes on the keyboard. But that is not even touching the software. I'm going to keep it on this light mode for now. I like this one. Let's check out the software, shall we? Alright guys, so here's the software for the keyboard. Um, you got your settings of the keyboard. This is all the settings. Got information about the keyboard, the model. The battery time, battery life, um, layout, sensitivity, all that. You got tap. Okay, so it's all you can scroll down. It's lighting. Okay, here's the lighting. You got to have that at 100%. Say so I bring it down to 10. Okay, I'm looking at my keyboard right now. It automatically drops down to 10. I'm slide it back up. As soon as I let go of the mouse, it's back up to 100. Caps lock LED. Yeah. Macro, yep. Um, disa magic FN disable. No, auto sleep enable. Yes, Bluetooth bind. Okay, Bluetooth firmware. That's how you update the firmware, which I had to do. Okay, you cannot maximize the screen. It's just minimize and X. Okay, so that is your general settings. We'll go to layout. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where you set, like. Okay, yeah, this is where you change around all the stuff. The arrow keys, you could probably change it and all that. Yeah, this is where you do all that and change everything. Okay. This, we'll get into that in a second. Alright, so this is reset macros. Okay, and this is the audio visualization. Keyboard lights react to audio playing via default s sound device. So I'm guessing if I turn this on, 
I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Alright, settings, preferences, okay. So this is the where it all comes in at. Alright, I'm going to set a video on my phone to record the keyboard right now. If I can. And also, on on the video that I'm taking on my phone, the keyboard is a lot brighter than it seems on the video. Just to let you guys know. Alright, so let's do the... If I change it yellow, the whole thing changes yellow as soon as I click it. Same for red, green, blue. This. Okay, so this is all the... Okay. This is all of the effects that are on the keyboard, but just on the... um. But just on the, um, on the software. Can't talk. Okay. So if I change rainbow, go to the, say I go to that. Okay. Dynamic light color table. Gradual breathing. If I change it to that, I'll go there. Static multi. Right to there. Rainbow trigger. Okay, this is just the rainbow like that. Breathing trigger. wonder what this does okay so I can add colors to the breathing I just added gray it might stay gray now okay I'll delete that so it can continue on rainbow hmm I can it looks like I can also add a new one let's say I do pulse Hmm, what can I do with pulse? Oh, wait a minute. If I do custom. I wonder. I'm going to try to fully customize this. I'm going to try to fully customize this right quick. Let's see. How do I do that? I'll look into fully customizing it. But for now, I've got to wait a week until I get the new keycaps and they're coming in in a week I'll see you guys when those come in alright my dudes keycaps just came in let's hey take a look boom let's get them on the keyboard alright guys got all the keycaps put on here's what it looks like And the only reason I kept those keys black is because they have the commands on them, like delete, insert, page up, page down, end, home. They have the um, yeah, they have the commands on them, so I wanted to keep it like that because these, because the keys that replaced those keycaps, they did not have the commands on them, so I wanted to keep it like that. Now, if you look at that, those keys, I don't believe that the light will be able to shine through them. I'm not saying definitely not, but I don't think they'll be able to. What well, they could, you never know. So, without further ado, let's slide it up. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see how it looks. Oh my goodness. Guys, that looks so good. Can't even explain to you. That looks so good without the lights turned on. Looks so good with them turned on. This video, I'm looking through my phone at the video. The video doesn't do it justice. The light, it clashes with the blue. It doesn't clash, that's not what I mean. It shines so great on the blue. It looks so good, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely recommend this keyboard and these keycaps. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Turn on bell notifications so you get notified on every upload. See you dudes in the next one.